Before I get started, I did just want to give a little shout out to White Mountain Knives. A lot of you guys ask how I get Civivis so quick. It's usually through White Mountain Knives. They always get them very, very fast and I jump on them. Go to whitemountainknives.com. Use the code SDWMK at checkout. You get 10% off. The knife I'm reviewing today, they do have a lot of them still in stock. So go check that out. Also, they have all kinds of stuff. That code works site-wide. So go check out whitemountainknives.com. Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you today. We have a leaf blower going on outside, and I know my neighbor. It's going to be ours, so I'm just going to have to plow through it. Hopefully, I can edit it out of the sound, but I really wanted to make sure I brought you this knife today because this is a, a pretty awesome one. For $39, this is the Civivi Ortis, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty shockingly good for that price. We're used to Civivis being awesome at, at budget knives, but this is like even more budget than they normally do. Still has that awesome 9CR18 MOV steel. I really like that steel. We'll talk more about that when we get to the blade portion. But uh, the only real difference between this and some of the, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars Civivis are it's just got FRN handles instead of G10, but it's really nice FRN. And it's just a really cool design, that great usual slicey blade geometry that Civivi uses. This thing is really, really cool, I do have to say. Um, yeah, nice, the usual deep carry Civivi clip. You have countersunk screws and a semi countersunk uh, blade or pocket clip. This is 39 bucks. This is, uh, this is pretty darn cool. I know that I keep saying, you know, Potential budget knife of the year. I know I've said that a few times, but man, this one is, uh, this, this is, this rocketed number one on the charts. So let's get into exactly why. Switch to the tabletop view and we'll give you some more details. So here we are back with the Civivi Ortis. Uh, so I, I, I didn't mention it enough in the beginning. This is a really good looking knife. It's just a, a very handsome thing. I do have to say, I like the look of this clip pointy blade. The hollow grind is is deep and visible, makes it look even better. You can see on that satin finish, it just catches the light well. It looks great. I love the overall shape of it. And this FRN, if you're turned off by FRN, don't be turned off by this one. It, it is not your average fancy plastic. It, it kind of reminds me in a way of the Ontario Rats, which you're going to see a couple of those here momentarily. I'm going to use those for some size comparisons. But... Their FRN always felt a little bit better, a little bit better quality than almost any other FRN that I've touched. Uh, this, this is better. It's better than Ontario's FRN. If you'd have told me this was G10, I'd have been fooled for a significant amount of time before I'd have realized that it wasn't G10. It just feels that good. This lovely kind of subtle milling on it. I, I just, it's just great. I, I just, I, I really, I really like this fancy plastic. And I normally don't care for fancy plastic, but I really do like this one. It does come in several different colorways. For your $39.95, you can get this version with the black and the satin. You can get a blue with the satin. Uh, you can also get a black wash blade and a green or a black. The all blacked one out, the all blacked out one looks uh it looks pretty cool. I do have to say. It looks pretty cool. And it's a black wash. It's not a plain black finish, so it shouldn't scratch up too much. I uh, kind of almost wish I'd have got that one, but I do like the look of this one a whole lot. If you want to spend more, if you just love this design, which there's a lot of reasons to like this design other than its price, and you want to spend a lot more on one, for $89.25, you can get a Damascus blade with carbon fiber twill, which also looks great. Uh, and Sabibi's Damascus is pretty darn good. It is basically still mostly 9CR18 MOV, so all the stuff I'm going to say about this blade as far as edge retention and stuff like that will apply to that steel as well. Now, let's do some specs and some size comparisons. Line this up so we have it all against an, uh, against the line here. We have half inch squares in this particular background. Overall length of seven and a half inches, blade length of three and a quarter inches, which I think is a really good EDC size. You have a blade thickness pretty thin at 0 0.12 inches, handle thickness of 0 0.47 inches, and a weight according to my scales of 2.85 ounces. Now, size comparisons. There can be many because I'm, uh, going to compare it against some of the standards, and then I'm also going to compare it against a lot of other Civivis and some other budget knife of the year contenders that I have here. So uh, we'll start out with our two usuals. We have the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and the Spyderco Para 3. You can see it's a 
pretty close to pair of three size in overall length, but it does cram a bit more blade in there, which I think is a is always always a good thing. Now we'll grab the the bench maze really quickly here, and then we'll get into some other stuff that's kind of more in this same price range. There's one particular bench made I want to compare it against. So we have the, your full size Griptilian, one of our usuals. And the full size bug out. I think this is an appropriate comparison because they are the same sort of blade length. Very, very similar in overall size to a bug out. Pretty much identical in overall length. Now, let's compare it to a couple other budget ones that I mentioned earlier that I always like to bring these out when I'm doing Civivis. This is the Rat Model 2 and the Rat Model 1. So it's it's closer in size to a Model 2, but uh, it's 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 a little bit bigger, not nearly the size of a Model 1. The Model 1's actually a pretty pretty big knife. Man, kind of clean that thing. Is that corrosion? Nope. Talking to myself. Uh, now let's bring out a whole Pekka Civivis. <laughs> so uh, we'll start out with the Elementum, because a lot of you guys have this and love it. This is a more expensive knife. I think this is like around uh, 50 bucks. This is with the D2 steel. And the Dogma, which is another one that was new for this year. And was my Civivi entrant for budget knife of the year until I got this. I think I would choose this over the Dogma. The Dogma is G10, uh, but it's... it's it, it, I don't know. I don't really like that milling pattern. It's uh, it's D2. I, I would prefer the 9CR. We'll talk about it when we get to the, the, the blade, but I just, I like the 9CR steel. It's really easy to sharpen and all that stuff. But you can see just a little bit smaller than the Dogma and a little bit larger than the Elementum. And then now we're going to bring out two that were, were my my previous favorite Civivis, I think. I think this may have eclipsed both of them. But we have the Shredder, which is a pretty large knife, so it's obviously going to be much smaller than that. And my previous all-time favorite Civivi, one of the originals, the Backlash. You can see it still has a lot of the blade influences of both of these, but you have the deployment hole. It's a little bit smaller. But yeah, if you want something a little larger, this the backlash is, is only a few bucks more than this. So uh, I could I could see you do get the G10 and stuff, and it is still the 9CR, uh, but it is just a little bit larger. Now, let's talk more about this thing specifically. Uh, the blade on this thing. Oops, sorry, I'm banging stuff around over here off the side. Uh, the blade on this thing is just it's it's great. It's 9CR 18mm I really like this steel. It says CR, and as people think, oh, it's just 8CR, like, it's like 8CR 13 that everybody rails on. No, it isn't at all. It's actually a really good steel. The blade retention is pretty darn good on it. It's super easy to sharpen, and I have no issues with it. Like I said, I prefer it to the D2 models that Svevi does. Uh, the D2 is fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but this is a lot easier to sharpen. It's not as chippy. If for if something you're really going to use every day, I prefer the 9CR. I really do. You're going to have to sharpen it a bit more often, but not dramatically so. And when you do, it's so much easier to deal with. It's only 16 thousandths behind the edge. Very thin blade stock. Really nice hollow grind. This thing is a slicing machine. It's a fantastic slicer. The tip on it is a bit dainty. If there's one knock on this knife, it's definitely that. You get that a lot with these clip points. It's it's just gonna that's just kind of the nature of the beast. But it does work really, really well for your usual EDC task, superbly well. It is it is excellent. Uh ergonomics also really, really good. I have large size glove hands, but pretty skinny fingers, um, long skinny fingers, and this fits my hand absolutely just fine. All four fingers on there, absolutely no problem. You can choke up on it. The pocket clip, that when you're choked back, you, you do know it's there. When you choke up, you really don't. It has a nice place for your finger to land. Uh, this FRN texture is uh, is grippy enough, but not overly grippy. Um, I really do like the, the ergonomics. It's just, it's just really, really good. Now, as far as the carry goes, bring out the Levi's. Nice deep carry clip. 
Again, as I said, semi-recessed pocket clip. There is a pocket in there for it, but it doesn't go down all the way. It is right-hand carry only, so sorry about that. But um, uh, yeah, it's uh, it fits in there. Oh, I lied to you. It is right hand, left hand. I always I forgot that there was another one. I'm I'm doing multiple reviews today. And I got confused. It is it is right hand, left hand carry. Um, sinks down in there really good. Knife completely disappears. Uh, there is a flipper tab, so you can kind of feel it, but it's hidden really, really well. Uh, it's not really anything you complain about. 2.85 ounces. It's below that ounce per inch, ra inch ratio. Um, just given the size, I wouldn't call it like a true lightweight, which is weird. I, I definitely would have, you know, a couple years ago. But lightweight knives is something that people really work on. So I wouldn't call it like a true, true lightweight, but... um. It ain't bad. It's milled out, you know, to relieve some weight. So 2.85 ounces, not too bad at all. And the action on this, I know I say it all the time. It's almost like a catchphrase when I get to the action on Civivis, but it's a Civivi. It's great. <laughs> the detent's perfect, as they always are. It still runs on the same ceramic ball bearings and the same ceramic detent as the other Civivis. Um, it's not drop shutty completely because this is a pretty small lightweight blade it's just gravity but yeah just give it a little the slightest little flick and it drops shut you can spidey flick it all that stuff you can thumb flick it when you're more coordinated than i am it's uh it's just it's a really fun knife to fidget with and yeah awesome blade awesome looks in my opinion um especially this one in the blackout version and that if you want to spend it, if you just really love this design, you want to spend some more, I, I'm sure that that $90 one is, is worth it. Uh, CBB does a great job on their carbon. They do a great job on their Damascus. So I've, I haven't had that one, but yeah, I'm kind of tempted by it. Honestly, I like this so much. I'm tempted to buy the more expensive one and I don't think I'll be alone in that. This is this is an awesome knife for 40 bucks. Man, this is hard to beat. And yeah, then I'll bring out some of the, some of your other contenders for budget knife of the year I have here, just to put them side by side. This is the CRKT Pete. I really like this knife a lot. This is a little less expensive. And for about the same price, you have the CGRB Feldspar. This is the small one. Um, yeah, it's, this is this is going to be tough to beat in the budget knife of the year. Um, I start my budget knife of the year at hundred dollars and below. This is forty bucks. This is absolutely for sure budget. Uh, some of the other ones are, are you know much closer to the hundred dollar mark. So we will we will see um, if this continues to impress me throughout the rest of the year as much as it does uh, after just having it for a couple of days. But man, yeah, this thing is cool. Well done, Savivi. I was kind of uh, worried that Civivi was losing their way a little bit uh, the last year or so. Not dramatically so, but a couple of things I just thought, yeah, oh, but now, no, they're back to their roots. And the backlash is back again. I thought that was going to be gone, and it's not. So, yeah, um, yeah, still still a Civivi fan. And you get all this cool stuff. Um, where did I put it? I got it out specifically for this, and now I can't find so in conclusion, I'm going to bring out a couple of other budget knife of the year contenders uh, that are more in this price range. I start my budget knife of the year at under 100 so some of them are, are much closer to 100 than they are to this $40 price tag. But these are much closer to that $40 price tag. About the same price, you have the CJRB Feldspar. This happens to be the, uh, the small version. And then you have the CRKT Pete. Um, another one I like a whole lot, uh, but, you know, look at these two. You've got D2 steel on this, and it's a bit more gentlemanly. Uh, the Pete is even less expensive than the Ortis, but uh, which of these would I choose? But yeah, the, the Ortis, like, all week long, twice on Sundays. It's uh, it's just, it's that good. It's just really, really impressive. I I'm not going to say it's my most surprising knife of 2020. I was kind of expecting it to be pretty good, but it's even better than I thought. And you do get all the usual Civivi stuff. They did not cheap out on that to get the price down. Uh, this is the box that comes in. You get you get the Civivi pouch, nice little zipper pouch, nice way to store it. You get the cloth, you get stickers, you get all that stuff. 
Um, just like it was one of the more expensive Savivis. Not that any of the Savivis are really expensive, but you know what I mean. It's just the little tchotchkes you get. Nobody does it like Savivi. Those other two knives I showed you, they come in just a plain old box. You don't get anything cool extra with it. Um, I just, I really like this thing a lot. You are definitely going to see the being see or yep. You are definitely going to be seeing this. There we go. Words. You're definitely going to be seeing this in that you know late December January time frame for budget knife of the year. We still have some year to go, but right now, yeah, this is number one with a bullet, as Casey Kasem used to say. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've definitely enjoyed having this knife. Uh, I've been Brian. Have a good one.